Why has Kaspersky focused on a virtualization offering? Uh, you know, quite frankly, it's response to demand from our customers. We've noticed uh, considerably over the course of the last year or so that more and more of our customers are adopting VMware in one fashion or another. Uh, and we saw an opportunity to bring a, a better uh, protection offering to them for those platforms. Uh, quite frankly, it's part of our strategy to offer ubiquitous support of as many platforms as we can. Uh, you know, the, the, the platforms that, uh, that our customers primarily use, uh, and VMware is obviously a big piece of that. So uh, we're obviously very happy to be able to introduce the, the, the new VMware product, Kaspersky Security for Virtualization, uh, here at CBIT today. Thinking about the uh, Kaspersky security architecture, why did you, pro did you build your products uh, the way they are? And why helps this your customers? The, the architecture for Kaspersky Security for Virtualization uh, is really about using a single instance of Kaspersky to protect all of the virtual machines on the VMware platform. Uh, and the idea of doing it that way, uh, we're not running as many redundant processes across all of those individual virtual machines. Uh, so this makes the system run uh, more efficiently. Um, less processing, memory utilization, uh, no broadcast, or excuse me, update storms. Um, and ultimately it delivers better ROI to our customers because they're getting better performance out of their virtual platform. Um, they're also getting a, uh, a higher consolidation ratio, more uh, virtual machines running on each platform. Could you summarize the main features of Kaspersky Security for Virtualization? Uh, sure. Kaspersky Security for Virtualization um, is essentially a single uh, virtual machine running on a VMware platform with uh, VMware vShield. Uh, and what it does is it, it provides anti-malware protection for all of the other virtual machines running on that, um, on that hypervisor or that cluster. Uh, so it does scanning of both online and offline machines, which is very important. Uh, it also provides uh, some heuristics monitoring of the behavior of the applications running on those virtual machines. Uh, it updates uh, with a single update uh, for that single ver uh, machine and provides all of the security services for, for everything else in that platform. Additionally, um, both the Kaspersky Security for Virtualization product and the Kaspersky Endpoint Security product for physical machines are all managed from a single platform, which is Kaspersky Security Center. Uh, and this really uh, you know, delivers a lot of value to the, the systems administrators that are attempting to, uh, to provide security management for their entire business. Um, it can really hinder them when they have to do it from multiple screens. Uh, so consolidating that to a single screen, providing things like policy across all machines virtual, physical, and mobile brings a lot of value to our customers. Does it mean that you are um, covering physical machines and virtual machines in one administration console? Precisely. You said it better than I did. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. So Kaspersky Security Center, uh, which is our management console, uh, gives our customers the ability to deploy and manage uh, anti-malware security functionality uh, across both physical, or all, physical, virtual, and mobile platforms. Last question, uh, uh, talking about this big trend, um, bring your own device, uh, does it fit into that strategy as well? It sure does. Um, in fact, later on this year, Kaspersky will be uh, announcing um, new functionality that includes mobile device management, which will give some uh, basic functionality for any business who wants to provide some management services uh, and perhaps oversight of the company data that's running on employee-owned devices, such as mobile devices, uh, or even, you know, for that matter, um, uh, tablets uh, and, and personally owned laptops. Uh, so it's very much part of that strategy because, you know, businesses uh, today, uh, they can't confine their data to their own devices anymore, right? Data is being shared across partners and it's being shared uh, across personally owned devices. And it's very important, obviously, that, uh, that we can provide security for the business regardless of where that data runs.